Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Nissan Altima, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. So we're gonna be in the cargo area to start this installation. Our T connectors are gonna plug in behind both of our vehicle's tail lights. So we're gonna take our flooring and we're gonna remove it. In our case, we have a stereo system, so we're just gonna tuck it up underneath. Next, we're gonna remove our rear threshold panel. It's held in by three push pins, and we're going to use a trim panel removal tool to take those out. So now we're just gonna pull up on our rear threshold panel, and then we'll set it aside. Now we're gonna remove four push pins on the driver's side paneling. There's one right here, 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 and here. So now with those push pins out, we're just gonna pull back on this lining. And this gives us access to our taillight harness on the driver's side. So now we're just gonna unplug that harness. So there's a little tab on the top right here. We're just gonna push it down and that will let us release it. Now we're gonna take our T connector with the yellow, red, and brown wire, and we're going to plug it into our driver's side taillight harness. Next, we're going to ground our white wire with the terminal on the end. We're gonna use our provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. So we're gonna ground right here next to the rear threshold panel. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the green wire. We're gonna run it over to our passenger side tail light and we're gonna follow all of our steps that we just did on the driver's side. So there's a lot of extra green wire, so we're going to clean it up by zip tying it to our existing wiring that goes underneath our rear threshold panel. Now we're gonna connect our black power wire to the black wire on our converter box. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire that has protective loom on it to help protect it from the elements. Now we're gonna use a heat shrink buck connector to connect those. Now we're going to bring our black power wire underneath our vehicle. We're gonna go through this vent on the driver's side. We're just gonna push it down. So let's talk about your storage options for your four flat harness. You can either leave it in the trunk and pull it out of the cargo area when you need to use it, or you can bring it underneath your vehicle and have it right next to your hitch receiver. We'll go ahead and show you how you can do it that way. We're just gonna go and push our four flat harness through our vent. All right, now that we're done in our cargo area, we're gonna put it all back together. Now underneath the vehicle on the driver's side, we're just gonna reach up behind the heat shield right here and we'll be able to pull down our power wire. Now we're going to route our black power wire underneath our vehicle towards our engine compartment where we will connect this to our vehicle's battery. Now we're going to want to avoid the exhaust or anything moving so it doesn't get caught or melted, which can cause damage to our wiring. So we're going to go and follow our brake lines all the way down. So we're gonna to go to the back side of this heat shield, and then we're gonna bring our wire above our exhaust. So now we're gonna bring our wire behind our tank, and we're gonna loop it through our brake lines. And we're just gonna follow it down, zip tying it all the way. Now that we've reached the bottom of our engine compartment, we're just gonna push our wire up following these brake lines. And in our engine compartment, our wiring is going to come up right behind our brake reservoir right here. Now we're gonna connect our power wire to our fuse holder. 
Now we're gonna connect our fuse holder to the positive terminal on our battery. We're gonna remove this nut using a 12 millimeter socket. Now we're going to insert the provided 10 amp fuse into our fuse holder. Then we'll put our cap on. Now we have some extra wire, so we're just gonna tuck it in behind the battery and then zip tie it to clean it up. Now we're gonna secure our four flat harness. We're gonna pull it out from behind that heat shield on the driver's side. And now we're gonna route it over our bumper support towards our hitch receiver to keep it away from the exhaust. Now we're going to secure our four flat harness close to our hitch receiver. Now we're gonna be using a four flat mounting bracket. We're just going to mount it right here underneath the bumper and then using a 3 16th drill bit, we're gonna drill our first hole. Now we're gonna pop our first screw into place and then we'll secure our mounting bracket with the provided nut. All right, now we're gonna make sure it's square and then we'll repeat on the second hole. And then we'll tighten up our nuts using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we'll attach our dust cover and then we'll put our connector into the mounting bracket and then we'll put our cap on. And with our wiring powered up and secured, you're ready to tow a trailer. So that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.